Welcome back to our Saturday video and our last daily devotion in this format. Thank you for turning up over the last 23 weeks. I wonder if there are people out there who think that they've watched all or nearly all of the 138 videos that have been made. If there have been some weeks that you've missed out on, do remember to, to go back and find them. I hope that this has been a space for you to, to grow uh, and to reflect. I hope it's been a place of support during the challenges of hard lockdown and in the transition out of it. I believe that difficult times can shape us. We don't choose difficult times, but we can choose whether we grow from them or actually we shrink due to them. And I hope that this week's videos has been part of your ability to reflect on how the last six months have affected you and how you grow as a person into the future. In the grand scheme of our lives, lockdown will be relatively a relatively short length of time, but it may well be quite influential. Now in the New Testament, there are many references of faith being like an athlete who trains and races, uh, runs in a race. In 1 Corinthians 9, 24, it says, do you not know that in a race, the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win it. Now, Christianity is not competitive. We aren't competing against each other. But what it's saying is that we should prepare ourselves so that we're in the best spiritual shape that we can possibly be. A race is not one on the day, a race is one in the preparation to run that race. And I think faith is less like a sprint race. In sprinting, if you have a bad start, you're behind from that point. It's really hard to catch up when you've had a bad start. So in sprinting, the, the key is a really good start and then to hold on um, to see if you can win the rest of the race. At the other end of the scale, when you have really long distances, you have ultra marathon running, silly distances like 100 kilometers, 100 miles, 200 miles. And I listen to a, a sports podcast that often has athletes who are in these disciplines. And they talk about having dark patches in all of their races, not just in the races that they do badly in. Actually, even those who go on to win the race talk about having these dark patches um, that they have to overcome some physical or mental issues through almost every race that they run. And they find this an absolutely key part of why they do well. The, the best runners are those who can think on their feet, who can overcome issues as they go. And I think that this more closely reflects the type of race that the Bible is talking about, one with highs and lows that can be dealt with, but also that won't ruin your race, that don't stop you from winning. In fact, they are part of the race. In Hebrews 12, it says, so let us run with perseverance, the race that has been set before us. Perseverance is important. It is everything. And I encourage us all to not be put off by the last six months. In fact, be encouraged um, to grow in your faith, to learn about how God has created you. Well, thank you again for joining in with all of these videos over the last 23 weeks. What have you enjoyed about these videos? What might you want from videos from this stream in the future? What would you like the church to be producing midweek online content? What would you like it to look like? We'll still be doing our Sunday services with online 
But what else would you like? Would you like the occasional video that might complement Sunday services or series? Would you like interviews or chats on various topics? Let me know in the comments below this video because your comments could help to shape this channel in the future. And make sure that you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and that will help you to know when new content is being created. Well, shall we pray? Lord God, thank you that you have been leading us through lockdown and thank you that you continue to lead us. Help us to run that race that you have set before us with patience and with perseverance. Bless us now and always with your presence and with your love. Inspire us and guide us, we pray, for we ask in your holy name. Amen. And may God bless you now and always.